Welcome to Spark Lab. My name is Catherine and I'm a facilitator here in the space. I'll be showing you how to turn red cabbage into pH indicator. You probably have a couple of questions like what is pH and why we need to measure it. pH is the measure of the acidity and alkalinity of certain solutions. It helps us figure out what's an acid and what's a base. It's really important in sciences such as chemistry and biology. Today we're going to test the acidity or alkalinity of lemon juice, distilled water, and baking soda. So here we've put about 500 milliliters or about two cups of shredded red cabbage into about the same amount or about two cups of distilled water. It's really important when you're making a red cabbage juice that you want to use distilled water. You can buy your cabbage either whole and just cut it up and make sure you've washed it really good or you can do what I did which is very convenient and buy it already cut up in the bag. So we're going to put this on about medium heat and we're going to let it come to a gentle boil and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Go ahead and strain out all of our red cabbage just like this. Poured our juice into here and now that it's in our beaker, we probably have about a half a cup right now of red cabbage juice. I'm going to go ahead, set it in a container of ice water and let it cool down. You always want to have mom and dad do this part because we want to make sure that this liquid is safe to handle. We've just put our red cabbage juice into this ice water, so we're going to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and let it continue to cool down. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about why red cabbage is so important for our experiment today. Red cabbage contains a water-soluble pigment known as anthocyanin. That's probably a really big word or maybe a word you've never heard before, but you've seen it many, many times. In the fall, if you ever notice the leaves on the ground, they're really pretty burgundies and browns, that's anthocyanin. If you ever take a walk in a garden and you see leaves and plants that are different colors, like maybe indigo, reds, that's anthocyanin. Whenever anthocyanin interacts with an acid or a base, it changes colors. That's why it's a great indicator for us to use today. Now that our red cabbage juice is cooled down and it's safe to handle, we're now going to add it into our lemon juice, which is an acid, our distilled water, which is neutral, and to our baking soda, which is a base. So now I'm going to add it into our lemon juice and we're going to see what happens. Now we're going to add it into our distilled water and now into our baking soda, which is a base. So see, you didn't have to take my word for it. We were able to prove using our red cabbage juice that lemon juice is an acid, that distilled water is neutral, and that baking soda is a base. Our lemon juice, when it interacted with our red cabbage juice, turned a really pretty pink. Our distilled water stayed a purple because it's neutral. And when we added it into our baking soda, it turned a really pretty color, our teal right here. So that's how we know we have a base. You're more than welcome to try lots of things that are in your house, like orange juice, which is an acid, toothpaste, which is a base. So have fun with it and let us know how you did.